Hello and good spring. Welcome to the 2013 series of plant videos here at New England Wildflower Society. Today I'd like to talk to you about Erythronium americanum, the American trout lily. I like this plant for a number of different reasons. One of the reasons is that it is one of our native edible species. It's got a rhizome that you could dig up, specifically in the early season, that has a flavor similar to a cucumber that somebody injected sugar water into. It's sweet, crunchy, very fresh. Um, I highly recommend trying it. Whenever we're talking about eating our native species, uh, sustainability really needs to be mentioned. There's a number of questions that have to be answered. Um, whose land are you on? Do you have the permission to be there and to be digging up and eating their plants? Um, there's a question of the sustainability of the species in general. Is it a rare plant? Um, is the population well you know, established? Uh, a lot of these questions can be really complicated and personally I just like to avoid them altogether. My stance is, uh, why go out in the wild and dig these when the vast majority of these plants can be planted in your garden and can grow perfectly fine at home? Um, in this case, it's a completely sustainable operation and your food is close at hand, so you don't have to hike out too far to find it. The flowers of the species are beautiful, but flowers can be fleeting. And whenever I'm looking to pick a plant for my garden, I want at least two different things that really interest me about the species. The trout lily is named a trout lily because of the leaves itself, which have a mottling on them that resemble the belly of a trout. It gives you something to look at even when the flowers have passed. Another thing that I really like about this species is that when you look at them individually, they look like they should really be complicated to grow. They're kind of small, they look somewhat delicate, but when it comes down to it, they're really not. Um, in a good area, they tend to kind of form a patch like this, and they spread quite well just on their own. A little bit of top dressing of compost every now and then, you know, a good kind of leaf layer, and they do very well. They're best sited under deciduous trees, where they get a lot of light in the early season when the leaves haven't yet emerged, but then they get quite a bit of shade later in the season. Nothing too dry, nothing too wet, but an average garden soil is just great. Um, and whereas they don't need a rich soil, if you give them a rich soil, they'll spread that much faster. Come take a walk in our woodland garden here in Garden in the Woods. See them for yourself.